Hey boys and girls, hi. Uh, we just had a, a quick little update. Um, Jordan has, uh, has decided to move into the Tesla EV world. Uh, this is the one that company owns and uh, it kind of looked the same, only ours is a uh, a 2021 and yours is brand spanking new. You got it last night, right? Yeah, just picked it up last night off the lot. And uh, so honestly, just getting a feel for it. You know, it's it's crazy working here. Obviously we're exposed to EVs perpetually. There's, you know, batteries everywhere. There's components everywhere, but uh, figured it was time we pull the trigger and, uh, you know, have one for a daily driver. Well, uh, you got the uh, super deluxe one though, right? You, you got the... Uh... <laughs> The racing version or whatever they call it? Yeah, so this is the, the performance model. So a couple of things different. As far as we know, same battery pack, um, same motors. Most of the, the performance upgrade as far as the powertrains done in the software. Um, but as far as the differences, so it, it is a little bit faster, 0 to 60, 3.1 seconds. Lowered suspension, so a little bit better ride and handling, a little bit firmer. Uh, it's got 20 inch wheels versus the 18 on the uh, long range version and then upgraded brake package, a couple of styling accents like the uh, spoiler in the rear, but by and large, very similar. Yeah. So how do you like it so far? You've only had it a day, but. Uh... Yeah, I, I mean, it's honestly, it's one of the, you know, not to be uh, overly fanboyish, but it's it's probably the best driving vehicle I've ever owned, plain and simple. Yeah. Um, I've had cars that were obviously audibly more exciting. You know, I had a twin turbo V8 uh, BMW that sounded way better and all of those things. But as far as actually the, the driving characteristics, no better vehicle. But, uh, you know, there are things that I don't like. If I were to put on my consulting hat and like the things that they could do better on the day to day, right? Like going, going to the front, I don't like that there's no button where I can just from the outside, a capacitive button or just due to proximity, have the front open. So like I go to the gym in the morning, if I got my gym bags, I got to pull, open. I got to pull out my phone and oh. hit the front button. Whereas mm -hmm. on the, the deck lid or on my truck or anything else, it's all capacitive. You walk up to it, you put your hand on it or either push an exterior button and it pops open. So little things like that, I, I would like to see uh, some changes on, but um, frankly, just getting getting used to the user interface. Yeah, yeah. Well, personally, um, I think that that's probably the best car I've ever driven. Well, let me rephrase that. The S is, without a question of a doubt, yeah. the S is the, fa uh, it's the fastest car I've ever driven. It also is, without a question of a doubt, the finest car. I mean, from a driving standpoint, I don't know of any car that could surpass it. And I've driven Bentleys and I've driven almost anything that, you know, uh, that, that's got four wheels. So I, I personally, I personally like it. Sue, who originally wasn't really a big fan, my wife Sue, who really, originally she was not a big fan of EVs. Now she says that that's the best car that, uh, that she's ever owned or ever driven or whatever yeah. so i think i think uh it's going to be a hard i think they're <clears throat> i think that the uh, uh the other guys in town are really going to have a hard time keeping up with this thing for sure so uh yeah there there's some um you know the, the usual things that people complain about you know a little bit of road noise wind noise um the door handles are kind of awkward some of those things are negatives but i i think personally and obviously it's only been the first 24 hours i think the negatives are far outweighed by the positive i, I would agree with sue it's it's one of the best vehicles i've ever driven so um a little bit of a gap issue there not much but enough that it'll catch my attention yeah it was kind it was kind of funny when we uh went Pain to the sneeze. when we went to uh pick it up <laughs> last night i actually had my monroe vest on and the tesla representatives there kind of like looked at me and I think, I don't know if they were scared or excited or indifferent, but uh, they, they looked at me and gave me a strange look. And I said, yeah, I work for Monroe. And you know, they, they let on about the, the channel, which was kind of cool, yeah. Yeah. but uh, I didn't mention the gaps. I didn't want to make them feel uncomfortable. So, well, I'm always, uh, I'm always up for making feel people feel uncomfortable, <laughs> but uh, the, the door gaps look pretty good. Yeah. What do we got in the back?
It's good from a flushing standpoint, that's for sure. And I, the only thing I could spot was that was that uh, difference in gap on the frunk. But all the rest of it looks just fine. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. So what about the interior? You seen everything? Anything in the interior you don't uh, have a good feeling for? Uh, I think the interior is is sharp. You know, it's it's simple, right? There's there's not yeah. a lot of uh, whiz bang wow, which I think is part of the appeal, depending on your uh, taste. Yeah. But you know, as far as the detractors or things I don't like, I don't like having to do three things to get a single reaction. And and yeah. with the the infotainment and the screen. Part of it, I'm still getting familiarized with it, but the other part of it, you know, it does seem like I've got to go two or three places to elicit a single response from the vehicle, yeah. so. Well, the only thing with the uh, <clears throat> the infotainment, if you like, is um, they don't have um, AM radio, which would be kind of handy for me because I like to listen to some of that. What's, but a, it's what's a, AM radio? I'm, AM. I'm just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, so last time I'm talking to you. So let's go for a ride. Well, wait a minute. You, with this package, you you wound up with different brakes, right? Yeah, so this has floating caliper uh, front brakes, so a little bit upgraded performance uh, brake package in the front, larger rotors. Same with the rear, um, or I'm sorry, fixed, fixed piston in the front, floating in the rear, rather. Um, so a little bit of Im improvement on the brake package. To get, and you get some other things as far as the software goes, track mode, you can drift in this one, but these tires are expensive, so yeah. I might wait until they're at the end of their life before I give that a shot. So we'll see. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you uh, give me a ride? Sure. Because we only got a few minutes, so. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you ready, Eric? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Yeah, if you listen closely, it's got a different set of uh, tires on it. You'll notice it's picking up every last little bit of dirt. A little bit stickier for uh, some more grip on the track, but I'm not going to complain about that. In fact, it's got the Michelin uh, Pilot 4S's on it, and uh, I was a little concerned when it was getting cold because summer tires do not like cold weather. As a rule, actually, I've never had really any problems with the uh, with the three. Um, I think we have the same tires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sue, again, loves it in the cold, or in the snow, rather. Yeah. Yeah, having it all warmed up um, as yeah. quickly as it does, the way it does, is it's pretty great. Well, not so. of that. It's just driving it. If you're driving this thing in the snow, yeah, it does have some pickup. Yeah. Is this in sport mode, then, or...? Yeah, you, sport, track not track. Huh. Not track mode, just regular sport. So but, what's your wife think of it? I see you got the baby seat in the back. So yeah, she cool. loved it. I think uh, <laughs> she was screaming. She didn't say much the first time I took off. I think she was just all tensed up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, my, my three-year-old son was in the back, and he screamed for about 30 minutes, Daddy, go faster. Daddy, go faster. Oh, Do it again. really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there you are. Hmm. So I know what car not to get him for his 16th birthday. Ah, there you go. Yeah. By the time he's 16, probably will be levitation mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he won't even be on the ground. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so just getting used to it. You know, I didn't get full auto I, autopilot, but it does have lane keep assist and, and cruise. So active um, uh, cruise control, it'll brake for yeah. you and all those things. But it won't change lanes um, and it won't you know, drive itself to an address like, like autopilot will. But for the extra 10 grand, or I think now 12 grand when, with the price increase, I just uh, couldn't justify the additional cost. So, yeah. Actually, yours seems to be a bit quieter than uh, the Model 3 we have. So, yeah, so they, uh, I'm not sure on yours, I'd have to take a look. One of the changes that they made for this was the windows they did laminated glass specifically because of the the road noise and wind noise complaints mm. so that laminated glass helps quite a bit um but on the performance it's a little bit stiffer i noticed right so some of the bumps some of the feedback might be a little bit louder but the wind noise seems to be quite a bit quieter so we'll get on the highway and just do a loop over to university take a few minutes yeah 
Well, the one thing I do love about this car is the seats. Man, I tell you, there's nothing finer. And that's the other thing I love about this car. <laughs> People get out of your way, or actually you get out of their way. It's amazing fast. Yeah, you just kind of pick whatever spot you want in traffic and don't worry about it. Nobody is going to catch up. No, no matter how much roaring you hear, uh, they will not catch up. That's right. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're doing some cool stuff, that's for sure. So let's see if we can't back up without uh, hitting uh, Eagle One over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think your backup camera is more friendly than mine is. Anyway, yeah, well, there you go. I think it's good. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. And uh, I'm sure you're going to have happy motoring. Like I say, I love this, and um, I'm. Hmm, I was hoping that I'd be able to get my uh, my cyber truck shortly, but that ain't going to happen. So, um, so anyway, this looks just fabulous. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Boys and girls, thanks for watching, and uh, now you know uh, I'm, <laughs> we, we don't just tear them apart. We actually buy them and use them. <laughs> okay, bye now. Bye-bye.